I'm on a mission to build a booty. And you know, yeah, you're right, you're right, you guys. I've been on that mission for a long time. But pretty recently, I've developed somewhat of a flat ass. And I think it's probably because quarantine. <laughs> I'm ready to get fit. Is that it? How did I say it? You said I'm on a mission I'm to on get a, fit. I'm on a mission to get fit. And I said, you can't say that. <laughs> Why did I say it? She told me that I can't say that because it's like a skinny girl telling an overweight woman that she needs to lose weight. <laughs> like that her herself needs to lose weight. I go, you can't say that. You're already fit. I just, so then you said you want to feel as fit on the inside as as, the I've, other people. as I've looked before on the outside. <laughs> I just want to train, okay? And uh, it's called body dysmorphia. I've trained, I've been training, but you know, training when you're not training for competition is obviously different. You're not feeling as fit as you. Used I'm to not be. as fit as I used to be. I'm fit though. <laughs> you're fit as fuck. I only know what I just did. So that was number one on her, her agenda, which was banded back squats, fives. And then I've got a list of butt stuff movements. Probably gonna do some of those. And then I'm gonna do the conditioning from, cross, uh, <laughs> from West Fitness. How much weight do you have up there? Me? Yep. So far. Oh, we turned the lights off because it. Gina has old eyes. No, but the lights her bother her eyes like when she's benching. So I don't mind turning them off. <laughs> Dude, your sweat line looks like the outline of a frog's head, and then your crotch seam looks like a giant mouth. Really? Yeah. From here? Does it look like a frog's mouth and head? Yeah, look. Eye, eye, mouth. <laughs> Are you gonna do the neck one? Yeah. I don't wanna roll uphill. 500, 400, 300, 200, 100, row. 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, hang clean, power jerk. I'm gonna do 85 pounds. 75 was prescribed. Daniel, Daniel prescribed 75 women, 115 for guys. I'm gonna do 85. Oh shit, I need clips. All right, B, goal is to get under 10 minutes. Five meter row, ten hang power cleaners, four meter row, eight hang power cleaner jerks, three, six, two, four, one, two. Let's rock and roll. This is 
where it all turns around for me, Colby. Some misery through it. This is their victory music. This is the L's in the history music. You know, I go right through. I know my doubt, my bro. This way, life up. I won't fly low. I launch silo. Look at the sky glow. You'll see by no. I be on my way. Hey, I will not decay. Hey. Yeah, I just gotta get back to moving the barbell. I mean, I've been doing dumbbell stuff because gyms have been closed for like months. <laughs> so just like barbell cycling, I was having a little bit of a hard time staying balanced with my legs, but they were also really shaky too. And then, just from my neck and shoulder stuff, uneven on my arms like one side fatigues faster than the other so I'm like it takes a lot of control with like my mind trying to when things start to feel slower on one side I'm trying to like force it but that's good yeah. come on come on who's that cheers <laughs> who's the puppy all right, go. This is the little dog side. Or like old dog, you know? That's the big dog side. Like this big Bernie's mountain dog right here. And that's what he is, he's pooping. Um, and you can take your dogs, your little ones over there if you want, but sometimes some of the bigger dogs, like big, like, um, you get Rottweilers or, you know, big Dobermans or, German Shepherds, and some of those dogs, they're just, they're louder, they play harder, and the Maggie would not do well. Can I not pooping out, I only have one bag. She looks like she, she pinched it off a little early because she's excited to play. <laughs> ran over jumped up she's had a great time and now we're gonna go get a poke bowl this place and then there's a new place downtown that one's really good too they have so many toppings the first poke place I think opened here was the one at Abbott Square and it was very limited like super limited and they were like it's like you're paying top dollar because we're in California and poke bowls are fucking expensive but I'm, you know, they're back there and you're like, I'm, 
like that's you like fill it up all the way like your scoop like if i only get three scoops like you make sure that scoop is heaping of tuna <laughs> right and they don't have a ton of toppings and they don't have a, a ton of sauces to choose from and then this place open they have like no advertising i mean they finally got this sign they didn't have that and like there's nothing on the windows and they have like pictures on the windows they printed but this place is bomb it's like the hole in the wall that you you know the locals know about spicy crab ahi ginger i absolutely love ginger it's so good uh the fresh kind eh, avocado edamame cucumbers um crispy onion fish egg and i did lettuce <laughs> okay, dude, my lungs are burning. COVID. Just kidding. <clears throat> hey guys, thanks for watching. A lot of cool shit coming up. It'll be really fun to share with you when I can. And also, me and Colby just plan to do all kinds of shit. So, Keep watching, drop a comment, like and subscribe, and share with a friend, you know? Because we're trying to grow. Yep. Nice.